This is Patrick from Motion VFX, and I'm pleased to announce that M Transition Luma is now available for DaVinci Resolve. And the good news, it is free. As you've just seen in the introduction, M Transition Luma provides Luma transitions with various looks. Let's see how it works. You can locate M Transition in the Effects tab. Click on Toolbox, Video Transitions, and in the Motion VFX folder, you will find M Transition Luma. You can preview the transition with its default values by skimming the cursor over the thumbnail, and you can add it to your favorites by clicking on the star to the right of the transition name. To add your transition, just drag and drop it on the cut between your two clips. When the transition has been fully cached, you can play back that transition in real time. You can adjust the length of the transition directly inside the timeline, but for finer control, you will have to open the inspector. Inside, you will find the duration and alignment parameters, and below that, you will get access to all the transition's custom controls. Inside the transition controls, you will be able to choose the Luma key mode and refine the final result. First, you can decide if you want to use the highlights or the shadows for your key. But you also have the option to control which clip to use as the mask source for the Luma transition. This unlocks so many possibilities. After that, you can adjust the softness of the Luma key and you can choose the various interpolations to refine the key for the in and out animation. Below those controls, you will be able to activate the desaturation option, which can also be used to increase saturation. When you've defined all the values for the Luma key, you can go even further by adding additional effects like pixelate, sweep, halftone, and border. I will move on to the next transition and activate the pixelate effect by clicking on the appropriate checkbox. You can choose between three different cell shapes, square, hexagon, or triangle. And you can decide the size of the shape by playing with the pixel frequency parameter. What's really nice about M Transition Luma is that you can combine all of these effects. For example, I will use the border effect to add a dark yellow color. I will also add the halftone effect to create a basic comic book effect. And to finish, I will activate the sweep effect that will add a brush stroke effect to my transition. The possibilities are endless to create unique transitions for your projects. Again, M Transition Luna is free. So go to motionvfx.com, download M Transition Luma for DaVinci Resolve, and you can test it right away. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave comments on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.